how to. How do you do? Boo. <laughs> That's poetry. That's poetry. That was uh, that was actually Shakespeare. That was William Shakespeare, circa 1782. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in to yet another how-to episode of The Last Talk Show. I would ask that you would please subscribe, uh, turn on the notification bell, all of that good stuff, so we can see that we're doing either a good job, a bad job, a happy job, or a sad job. Uh, we definitely want to show Richard Schwartz that we're doing our job and we're being didactic and that we're being uh, educational. It's, it's important. It's definitely important in the 21st century. This how-to episode is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun because uh, it's going to help you in your relationship. Love Talks is a very popular category on the last talk show. Make sure you tune in Mondays and Fridays to see the Love Talks in action and all the great categories that we've got. This how-to, how to make your partner happy. How to make your partner happy. How to please your partner. We're not going to get freaky deaky on you. You can say that for uh, the, the doctor, love, guru, horn freak. Uh, number one. Number one, how to make your partner happy. Pick up lines. And they're my favorite. Because we analyze them on the show and we test them for their efficacy. And I get to see which ones work best and which ones don't. And once we analyze them, I use them in the field and they certainly do prove to be effective. You just pick up lines with your partner. Why not? You know, you see her walking by, dang, girl, you got a band-aid? Because I scraped my knee falling for you. <laughs> She's gonna be like, oh, baby, I love you. Let's, let's go, let's go right now. Let's go, let's get a red lobster. You know, you know what Beyonce said. Take him to red I'm not gonna say the, the, the former part, but the latter part, take him to red lobster. Yeah, use a pickup line. Why not spice things up? Spice things up. Pickup lines are effective, mainly when they're tested for their efficacy on the last talk show. Uh, the next step, as, as you're looking them in their eyes, you know, you're walking down the beach, nice breezy, cool day, you know, where, wherever you are, you can do this. Uh, tell your partner the diseases that you don't have. That, that's going to make them happy. Think about it. Think about it. You're going to be looking your girl, looking your boy in the eye. You're going to tell them, hey, you know, I, I don't have herpes. Hey, hey, you know, like, hey, baby, I, I don't have crabs. Like, it, it's such a good feeling to know your partner doesn't have these disgusting, sick STDs. It just, it just makes them happy. Take my word for it. Take my word for it. You know, when, when I was dating uh, this specific young lady, uh, she had a lot of STDs. And I had to end that thing like, like, like uh, they're going to... Yeah, well, they're probably not going to cancel Hamilton. But, like, they're going to cancel certain uh, productions. Like, they're, they were going to cancel Kevin Hart. That's how fast I had to cancel that young lady. I had to cancel it because I don't want no STD. So if you tell your partner all the STDs you don't have, it's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful relationship ball just rolling, snowballing into something much bigger and beautiful. That's going to make them happy. Who wouldn't be happy about what diseases they don't have? Think about it. Really, I'm talking, I'm talking logic here. I'm talking being rational. Think about it. And the third and final step, how to make your partner happy. Hire a friend, hire a friend to act like they're going to rob your partner. And then you step in, beat up your friend, the robber, right? The, the person that's gonna attack him. And then you're seen as the hero. So all you gotta do, this is like a $5 step. Okay, $5 cheap, you go buy a ski mask at the stove, put the ski mask on your friend, because all they got to do is run up to your partner. You know, all they got to do is run up, yo, 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 give me your money, yo, 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 do whatever, do. And then you come out, Superman, no, hey, man, and, you know, you rehearse it with your buddy, okay, I'm going to punch you in your throat, I'm going to punch you in your kneecaps, I'm going to kick you in, in your children, or I'm going to kick you in your shin, whatever, whatever. You, you'd work that out, you'd work out the logistics, you'd work out the little details. Bam, your partner's going to be so happy. Oh, you, you saved me. Oh, oh. Even, even if it's, you know, like the, the, your, your girlfriend protects you, brothers, and that's okay. Your sister can protect you. You're going to be like, dang, girl, you did that for me, a little old me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you that Gucci bag you was asking for. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you that mayonnaise sandwich you were asking for. You know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's how you're going to make your partner happy, okay? You got to show that you're protective. You gotta show that you care. You gotta show that you'll go out of your way to make what's right happen. That is another how-to episode. I'm hoping that you'll be able to apply these steps to your relationship. I wanna see love, I wanna see love go. Just let your love flow. I wanna see it flow. 
I want to see it go. Only on the last talk show do we discuss things like this, so I want you to continue to subscribe, like, comment, follow, all that good stuff. I cannot do it without you, I'm serious. So thank you, and we're going to see you on the next How-To. Make sure to tune in Mondays and Fridays. Hello for the iconic episodes, great performances, great guests. Get ready. Thank you.